Day 20, watchful prayer. Colossians 4, 2, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. We're talking about a healthy spiritual rhythm, the things that are going on just constantly underneath the service, uh, surface, nonstop prayer and watchful prayer. So nonstop prayer, we're aware of the presence of God, but we're watchful in it. Two ideas from the overall message of the Bible, the general description of watchfulness. One is just, I'm alert. I'm not, I'm not just going through the motions. I'm not numb. I'm spiritually awake and I'm alert and I'm, I'm aware of life around me. And then secondly, watchfulness generally indicates that I'm watching for Jesus and for Jesus' return. I want to be ready. I want to be faithful when Jesus returns. So I'm looking for anything in me or around me that would, that would make me um, ill-prepared for the return of Jesus. So general readiness, alertness, and a readiness, a faithfulness for when Jesus returns. Okay, how do I do that? How, what does that look like in my life? So I'm nonstop prayer, I'm aware of God's presence, but I also wanna be self-aware and aware of my situation. Self-aware, situationally aware. That's the two big ideas we're after here. And again, journaling will help you do this. As you, as you just write out to the Lord, this is what I'm feeling, this is what I'm thinking, this is what's going on, this is, I'm, uh, this is what I'm angry about, this is what I'm worried about, this is what I'm fearful about, this is what I'm asking you for, this is what I'm being told, um, this is what I have to do. And you, you're processing life in the presence of God. And you will be amazed at how God will meet you. Nonstop prayer, watchful prayer, which means self-aware and situationally aware.